So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 14, I believe. I always forget, to be honest. But today's a big folks. Today's a big folks. That's right. It's a big folks. We're taking on City and Spurs. Now, Man City are not playing well, right? They're lying in, I was going to say 17th, but actually 14th place. I don't know what's going on with them, but still... You'd expect it to be a tough game. And then Tottenham are actually doing quite well. They're lying in third place. They've yet to draw a game this season. They've actually... They've won nine matches. Impressive. So, yeah. I mean, we'll see how today pans out. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I haven't played a whole lot over the last few days. So, hoping I'm not too rusty. And today's lineup... It's not the best. It's not the best because if you look at um, Osserman right there, if you see him, he's on full red and his stamina is a little bit down. So it's just pointless playing him. Luckily, Rashford is up for it. So we're going to put him as a centre forward today. Bruno Fernandes just behind him. I know he's not on form, but, you know, he came on, scored the winner in the last game. You do what you do. Donny Donny van der Beek. I've actually been quite impressed with him. So I'm going to start him today. Uh, that way we've got an anchor man, an orchestrator, and uh, a whole player. And then Anthony on the right. Sancho will start today on the left. We're going to go Malassia, Varane, Kim, and Dallo today. Uh, Martinez, stamina's a little bit down. And honestly, I'm also factoring in the facts of Haaland being enormous. And Martinez is like 5'9", five 5'10", foot five foot and Haaland 6'4". Uh, and then you've got someone like Kim min Jae who's a little bit taller, 190 centimeters, 191 with Varane. So them two together, I'm hoping, will better contain him. And they're playing Ryan Bubble as a right winger. Interesting choice there, Pep. And uh, yeah, there we go. They've got Laporte and uh, Ruben Diaz. They've got Kevin and Babu. They bought him Babu. If you guys know my Everton playthrough, you would know him. All right, anyway, folks, without further ado, Let's dive into this. I will see you guys there at the Etihad for a big match. If we win today, we push four points ahead of City. But it's a big game, a hard game, a tough game. But let's do it. So here we go, folks, live at the Etihad. For a whopper and hopefully man city perform the way they've been performing because i mean we haven't been playing well we've played better i think we definitely played better lately uh, but it's been a bit of a grind and also reminding reminding also re regarding that's the word i was looking for the uh, camera angles right look i can't please everyone some people like dynamics some people like stadiums some people like broadcast i have to play on a camera that i'm comfortable with Otherwise, it does turn into a bit of a mess. Uh, but, you know, eventually we can always change things up once we become more comfortable with how things are. But for the time being, this is what we're on. And today, it is all going to be about trying to contain this Man City side. I mean, I'm expecting them to be pretty decent, let's be honest. But if we can counter them, that'll be the big thing today. They're already starting off very, very lively. This Babel plays that inside. Silva, and that's all day for David De Gea. Now, we know about David De Gea. Obviously, come January time, folks, there's going to be a lot of changes made to this Manchester United team. Depending on cause of what happens in the real world. I'll tell you what, here's a chance here for Bruno Fernandes. Nice little run through the middle there, but comfortably taken claim by Man City at the back. As, uh, Bob, I can't believe they bought him. That makes me laugh. You know, here's a chance to Bruyne. Oh, Man City already having some long pop shots, which is what you like to see. I do like that, though. I don't like the AI trying to walk everything in, right? Have a shot from long range every now and then. That's how football is. Plus, you never know with keepers. They could drop them. Well, here's Mbabu, who has got plenty of pace. And that was a complete fluffer from Erling Haaland there. Not great defensively, lads. And Babu just bringing it forward. No one closing him down. And yeah, just scuffed it at the last second. Space up the line here for Jaden. 
All right. Well, if you're going to run off, Walker, we'll do this ourselves. Who's in there? Well, Rashford is in there. And the ball's gone back post. Big deflection. Comfortably taken claim by Edison. Now, we are still training Rashford to be, a, well, basically a forward. So, currently, he still is a prolific winger. And that's the reason why I'm doing it. Because Osman's not going to be able to play every single game. And we're obviously going to have to try and buy some forwards as well. Just like Manchester United need to do in the real life. They can't buy anyone. And Martial is not going to do it for them. Because he's always injured. Nice little touch there. And that will fall back to uh, Anthony. And now there's a chance at a foot race here between Rashford and Laporte. That's good defending. The ball is cleared away. There's Haaland trying to win the header. Bruno couldn't get there. Bernardo Silva tries to flick it on. Sancho Bruno again Casemiro chance for that ball over the top once more and it's going to be easy pickings for Edison oh hang on here's a chance I'll tell you what the goal is out of goal out wide Carl Walker Silver Walker again Fine, they can have the ball out wide. Nice bit of play. It's a nice one-two. Can he deliver it, though? No, not with Malassia. Brilliant, Malassia. Absolutely brilliant, son. Did well there. Rashford. I will say this much. The switch is on. Uh, Anthony not going to quite have that. What on earth is into the, the keeper doing? Hey! What a plum from Edison. And Bruno Fernandez says, thank you very much. I didn't know if this was heading on or not, to be honest. Thought I'd have a pop shot. But Bruno Fernandez now has, I think, four goals in his last four games. He's been absolutely brilliant. But we went for the switch here. Edison decides, I'm going to commit to this and use my head. And then Bruno Fernandez with the first time volley. That is a wonderful finish. And I'm lucky it fell to him. And not someone like Fred. But fortunately, Fred isn't playing. But yeah, Edison, what are you doing, mate? Pep Guardiola will be absolutely fuming. But to be fair, Edison probably would do that every now and then. 1-0. <laughs> so that's the goal we wanted. And that's probably why Man City are lying in 16th position. Or 15th, wherever they are. If Edison's going to be, uh, you know, just basically playing his own game. Moments before that, he did the same thing. There's Babel. Ooh. Breath! Give the foul! No, no, no! Well, I thought the foul was be given. That's why I didn't say anything. And literally, there's Man City for you. Yeah, Man City of the new. Unbelievable. We're giving them far too much respect down the flanks. But yeah, I thought I'd try and commit here towards the, the cross... Was not expecting Haaland to take a massive gamble. Kim Min Jae missed it completely. And we have two goals. I thought the ref would bring that back. At one time, he plays a decent advantage. Madness. Through the middle. Donny. Come on, Donny. Oh, you get it back off Phil Foden, though. Gets it wide. Malassia. Seeing the run here of Jadon Sancho. Delivers that towards the near post. And Bruno Fernandes yet again. This guy is lurking all the time. Good ball from Sancho here. I thought we'd take it first time. That was going in. Oh, is that a goal kick? Dallow. All day. All day, son. All right, time for a bit of possession now. Kim. Back towards him. Man City, high press, high press. We know that's what they're going to play. So we've got to create the spaces in between. And they are giving us some spaces. You know what we're not going to play? Attacking fullbacks, because I've just realised that's what we are playing. Here's Babel. Haaland, good block. Sancho does find Malassia. Inside here to Rashford. Keep going. There you go. Now, who's in the box? Malassia near post. There's the header. Wonderful save from Edison. Trying to redeem himself from earlier. 
off. A little bit more pepper on the finish. And it could have been two goals to one. Now Harlem brings this forward. He's still scoring the goals. Babel looking for the switch. Phil Foden. Good on Dallow. Stay on him. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. Harlan tries to get up. Comes back to Bernardo Silva. Oh, my word. That was that close. Probably lucky it landed on his right foot. A great play from Foden there. Twist me like a pretzel. And then Bernardo Silva's effort. Always just wide. So we have crossed the half an hour mark here at the Etihad. Man United did lead. Oh, it's a, it's a late one, but the ref plays on. Anthony, brilliant play. Oh, it's just a final finish. You can't keep bringing it back, ref, and not booking him. It's absolutely pointless. It seriously is. You could have just played advantage. If you're not going to book him, then play the advantage. Because I had the ball, you're messing us up. Well, next up for United, of course, is Tottenham. That's going to be a whopper. It is back at Old Trafford. But Tottenham are playing very, very well as Pedri's header just loops over the bar. But yeah, they're lying in third place. So Man United today want to pick up those points and close the gap. And Rodri just over. I think I just said Pedri there by accident. Wasn't Pedri, was it? It was Rodri. Here's Babel. Scooped it with the outside of the boot. Foden can get there. Oh, careful. Silly place to lose it. De Bruyne. Another scoop ball out wide. And Babu. It's a high looper towards Haaland. That's what he can do. That's what he can do. Can be a right pain in the backside out of absolutely nothing. Oh, here's a chance. Bruno. We've seen Rashford. Oh, it's a little bit of a mix-up. Rashford's there. Went for the dink and Rashi with an absolute beauty. Ten Hag goes mental. Yes, what a team. We haven't shared that for a while. Oh, what a finish. Well, I, I was in two minds. Do we take him on? Do we go around the goalie? Or do we try that and be a little bit more audacious? It was a bit of a mix-up here, wasn't it? It comes off Laporte with a heavy touch. There's the pace and advantage that Rashford has. And then... I mean, he just takes his time. Little flick over Edison. What a time to score right before the break. It was Bruno's pass here. And yeah, just Laporte let himself down with a terrible touch. It happens. Fortunately, it did. And Rashford, yeah, cool as a cucumber. Emphatically taken 2-1. And now, Man United can bring this forward. Referee, that's a late one. finally whips out a yellow card it's taken what three or four big challenges Rod uh, Rodrigo says what me okay yes 100% you son may have got the ball but you had to go through the man to get the ball so two minutes of stoppage time Pep Guardiola will not be happy with the way things have gone this half but Ten Hag won't be happy as well with the way United did concede switching off straight away but the positive for United is they have the lead with 45 minutes left to spare. It is Man City 1, Manchester United 2. And if we have a look at the shot count, there it is. Eight attempts to six. There's been chances. Man City have dominated possession like they would normally do. But we have outmustered them. Let's move into the second half. So there is a change. And it is the home side as Mares comes on for Babel. I think that's too much of a shock. Anthony Mares is going to offer something now. Well, here comes Anthony. Well, he says, you know what? I'm still going here. He's still going, Anthony. Lovely play. Bruno. Donny. Flicks that one over. Rashford's there! Oh, that would have been a wonderful goal. Beautiful movement from the lads, but... Edison equal to it. It's a lovely pass here from Jaden Sancho. Just right into the hole. And yeah, Edison just doing enough to deny the finish. With the old cheeky smile there. Interesting tattoo that, isn't it? Squares it inside. De Bruyne. 
United still just trying to hold that line. There's Casemiro, still man marking De Bruyne, and we haven't seen too much of him. So at the moment, it possibly has worked for them. There's Mbabu. Let's find Diaz. You see Rashford always on the last man. He's already caught Man City once, so why not do it again? Bernardo Silva. Mbabu. Foden. Well done, Anthony. Careful. And well done, Dallo. now. He was going to lay it, and then uh, he forgot to. De Bruyne swings it round the other way. Man United just getting the right players in the right time. Casemiro looking for that ball over the top. Malassia gets there first. Sancho. Lovely play from Jaden, and he's already been booked, you know, here. I don't think the ref's going to send him off for that because he's been pretty lenient today. Or maybe he will. Absolutely brilliant. The referee has sent off Rodrigo for this foul, right? I mean, it's a foul. But a sending off for that, I don't know. That's a, an interesting call. And now that is going to make it all the much harder for Manchester City. And what a chance now for Man United to go ahead now and possibly grab some more goals here. When you've got, well, over an hour left. Man United now have the extra man. Rodrigo It's obviously the, the central playmaker. And here we go now with Anthony. Tries to cut back on the left peg. Good play from Aki. And here comes Phil Foden now. Dallow just literally ran into the back of him. Ref said, you know what? It's fine. Let's play on. Rashford gets it out wide. Jaden Sancho. Brilliant play. Oh, wonderful challenge from Ruben Diaz. Because Jaden Sancho's trickery was beautiful to watch. I mean, you wouldn't underestimate Man City still. They still have enough quality in their team with 10 players to pull off. A slick move. All it takes is one chance. Although that's a loose pass. Anthony through the middle. Bruno. Oh, sorry. Casemiro. Closed down well, though. Bernardo Silva looking for Haaland. He's going to have to do an awful lot of work now. It's a lovely ball, though. If Mares can get there. He will get there. And he does deliver it in. It's good defending from United. Rashford couldn't get there himself. And Babu. Starts again with Diaz. No doubt United will look to make some changes very, very shortly now. Freshen up the legs and just try and get some possession going. Jadon Sancho looking for Rashford. Nods it back to Anthony. Lovely ball inside. Casemiro now. Look at the space he has ahead of him. It's Casemiro! Could have been number three. Man City really didn't know which way to go. Do they close him? Do they not? you got uh, Rashford pulling players one way. Anthony or Bruno pulling the other. And in the end, Edison did well to deny the finish. So we're going to bring on Ganacho as uh, Jack Grealish also comes on. Can United do anything from this corner? What a chance. That's a massive chance for Rashford there. Because he had a free attempt at goal. Just couldn't quite find the corner. Mares. Malassia is just trying to stay with the other runners here. Bernardo Silva. Ganacho, who will be a worker. Referee does play advantage. De Bruyne. Babu. Back to Embruyne. Back to Embruyne. That's an interesting name. Out wide. Grealish. Does fire one in. Looking for Haaland. Comes back on the volley. And that wasn't bad at all from Bernardo Silva. As there's a quick change as uh, Gundogan comes on. But we've got 18 minutes left to spare. It's been an interesting game, hasn't it? Man City, no doubt, dominating possession. They've had a lot of the ball, as you would expect, at home or even away from home because it's Man City. It's Pep Guardiola's game plan, ultimately, just to out-dominate teams. But Man United are the team that are leading. They also have an extra man after the referee sent off Rodri. Maybe a little bit harsh, because it wasn't the worst challenge in the world, but it is what it is. And now, Man United can break with Anthony here. He's got Ganacho to the left. Rashford through the middle, and it's just the wrong pass, and then a poor challenge. 
And it's going to be a yellow card for Jack Grealish. I think it's more frustrations at this point in time. Yeah, it's a, a pointless challenge, isn't it? Cynical, professional. So two changes. We're going to bring on uh, Scott McTominay actually today for a little bit more cover. Uh, as much as we have an extra man, I'm not fussed about it. So we've got to make sure that we shut up shop. But we are going to have a go with, uh, well, Marcus Rashford. Well, that was whipping and dipping and schmipping all over the place. And Edison saw it late, apparently. But it's still not over, folks. Need another goal here. We do need an, a third goal to secure this. Haaland. That's a good play, Kim. And Casemiro will get there. Malassi. McTominay. To David De Gea. Let's not do anything ridiculous here. Just keep the ball away from City now. Wambasaka. Space through the middle. And it's Bruno Fernandes. Squares it. Rashford. It's a good pass, this. Ganacho. Lovely play. Oh, quick feet from him, wasn't it? There's a couple of players bundling into each other. Haaland, who's been kept literally quiet as uh, as you like in this half. But it only takes a split second. Here comes Jack Grealish now. Up against Wambasaka. Cuts back. And Babu tries to deliver it. He does manage to deliver it. It's cleared away. Rashford does get it out wide to Anthony. Oh, what a chance. Another chance there. Just that final pass. Here's Wambasaka. He'll keep going all game. Ball over the top. It's a good-looking ball as well. Back to Wambasaka of all players. Can he do it? Rashford. Oh, my days, Rashford. What a mess of a finish. After Wambasaka was brilliant down the flank there. Kept going. Used his pace. And yeah, this finish here. Look at it. Well, maybe it wasn't that bad. Took a deflection anyway, so. So, a couple of changes. We have... Oh, no, Aki is uh, coming on now. Didn't I say Aki was already playing? Oh, well, I've got them all middled up. Anyway, here's a chance. Go on, son. But, yeah, we have brought on Palestri. And we have taken off Bruno Fernandes. going to rest him now for that Tottenham game. I mean, there's seven minutes to spare. And, obviously, at this stage of the game now, it'll be all about keeping possession away from Man City. I mean, that red card was honestly a massive massive plus for us because it's basically stopped Man City from being able to now well we know do what they love to do as Gundogan goes flying in but Ganacho's going to get there first and he delivers it towards the near post Rashford's there that will do that should be game set and match Ten Hag yes this is what we do we're a great team. And Rashford banging in the goals today. Osserman. Replaced by Rashford because he wasn't fully fit. Ganacho does brilliantly here. Look how quickly he gets up. Gets on with it. He's got the pace. Great ball in. And a brilliant header. Past an outstretched Edison. 3-1. That'll do nicely. It really will. Now we have to use this as a platform for the Tottenham game. Uh, Man City in a bit of a predicament with their season. As Fred swings it all the way round to Palestri. Juan Bissaka starts again. Juan Bissaka, good play by him there. Squares it inside, trying to find Rashford. Uh, Jack Grealish now. Can Man City maybe grab some sort of a consolation? Not with that finish. And there's your full-time whistle. Man United with a massive result away from home. But a lot of talking points, weren't there? Especially that red card. Rodri sent off in the first half. Was it the first half or the second half? Can't remember. Certainly one half. But that changed the game. 10 attempts to 13. Uh, but yeah, Man City did have the possession. A man of the match, no doubt, Marcus Rashford, 7.5. Nah, we'll give him a 9. Why not?
So, the other results. Uh, Wolves smashing Everton. Wow, what a result that is. That means Liverpool go clear top of the table after they beat Fulham. Newcastle drew against Brentford. Bournemouth 2, Sheffield United 0. Chelsea beat Luton Town. Aston Villa lost to West Ham. Crystal Palace drew. Tottenham did beat Brighton. And Arsenal beating the Burnley. So, for the first time in a long time, we go into the top 10 up to ninth place uh, we are still though what eight points behind chelsea and that's the problem liverpool tottenham arsenal chelsea are all winning games uh, man city now 14th or still 14th place luton town are really having a mare and then you've got sheffield united and bournemouth so folks we're going to advance to match day number 15 as we have got a big match to come here against Tottenham Hotspur, who are playing well, but that is a very interesting formation. 5-2-3. Obviously, it's going to change the fluid formation. How's the boys looking? Typical, isn't it? Unbelievable. Right, well, that's the lineup they're recommending us. So we are going to quickly adjust the team. I'll let you know who's playing, and we will return. All right, folks, so this is the lineup we're going to go for. Uh, we are going to start Casemiro today as much as he's down. Don't care. You need him in there. Uh, Rashford, because he played so well and Osserman's also up for today. Obviously, I want to start Osserman. So we are going to bring Rashford in, but we'll start him as a left winger today. Anthony on the right. Bruno. Fred, I'm going to start because he's box to box. And I don't know. I just want a worker in there today. Uh, and then we're going to go for Kim, Martinez, Malasia, wan and David De Gea today. So that's the lineup we're looking at. I'm going to try Kim and Martinez, see if they can contain that Tottenham front three. All right. Sounds good. Well, I will see you guys there. As you can see from the table, it's a big match. Tottenham are second. If we win this, we do close the gap to them for six points. That's the game plan. Let's see how it goes. So we are back at the Theatre of Wonderful Dreams, live in Manchester, taking on second place Tottenham Hotspur. Who would have thought Tottenham would have such a great start to the season? But they have. And it's time now to show them what it's all about at Old Trafford. Martinez has got a new face, by the way. I'm still working on the website, folks. Don't worry, it's coming along. We're getting there. Then I'll have everything you guys need to get your game looking like this. That's the game plan. But anyway, without further ado, let's crack on here and really see how this Tottenham team play. I don't know. Previously in, in Pez games, Tottenham have never been the best team to face. So I'm quite intrigued to see why they are playing so well. But they're away from home and it can be often a, a different story. But we'll just keep possession. We'll do what uh, Man City did against us for the opening 15 or so minutes in the last game. Let's get the boys working hard. Martinez. Harry Kane trying to close down. Fred. Anthony. Mm, forced that pass a little bit too much. As uh, Tottenham now will start again with uh, Eric Dyer. Pedro Porto. Best name in the world. As Kulisevsky now has a chance to uh, take on Kim. Lovely ball. Sun's there. And just like that, that's why Tottenham are a threat. Beautiful from Anthony. Absolutely brilliant. Referee didn't even care about it. Ridiculous that he didn't give a foul for that. But the advantage is fair enough. Here comes Wamba Saka now. Well, Osserman has decided that he wants to come over. Should have stayed in the box, mate. As, uh, Tottenham now bring this forward. I feel like this will be a very open game. Chances for both teams, I'm sure. Here comes Anthony now. Stretching the legs. Anthony! Comfortable save for Forster. Asuma. What's up? Porto. Kane. Rashford did well there. And Malassia should keep it on. Martinez. Andy Casemiro. Says to Kim, here you go. Get into the space. Wambasaka, Harry Kane not uh, messing about. Well, the long ball over the top is towards Rashford, and wasn't a bad idea. 
don't know if Man United may even go two up top the second half just to try and pin Tottenham back a little bit because Tottenham are getting far too much possession on the ball at the moment as the ball's fired in again and they, they love using the wings as you can tell there's Rashford now Malassia what's going on with United all over the place it's a terrible pass I think he was looking for Fred there but he ended up finding absolutely no one and now it's a case of who comes who goes big deflection Harry Kane is there blimey blimey David De Gea did just enough awesome now United can break though Rashford through the middle lovely move this awesome Oh, he's trying to do the old twinkle, twinkle, little star move. That's not a good header from Kim. Good turn by Kane. Someone needs to commit to him. It's a lovely pass to find Kulisevsky. And the ball was cleared away just in time. And now Man United bring it away again. Anthony. Bruno. Rashford. Good play, but Tottenham are defending well. They really are. And Samiro now. Rashford. Rashford's been really, really lively. He's becoming more and more himself game after game. He just needs to stay fit because he's been injured a few times. And now it's time for United to get a bit of possession here. Martinez. Back inside. Fred. Anthony. Bruno. Awesome it. Oh, looking to turn, wasn't he? So congregated in there, but wasn't far away from getting in. That's what they need to use. Here is Sun now. Back and forth we go. There's no goals, but there's been some decent football being played. Hoiberg. Romaro. Romaro. Romario. Romero! Now, awesome it. Wants it through the middle. Lovely challenge that. Absolutely brilliant. They're not giving Osman awesome the time of day today either. Christian Romero now. Flicked on. Kane. Beautiful pass to Davis. wan -Bissaka was worried about possibly going towards him there. Little deflections being given away. Osman. Awesome That's the ball he's looking for. Here comes Anthony. Just ran out of ideas, didn't he? Didn't know which way to go. Do you go left? Do you go right? Son. Back inside. There are players queuing up at the back post. Tottenham just continue to relentless, relentlessly press time after time. There's Kane with an effort. Martinez, not the best clearance in the world. Comes back out to Hoiberg. Anthony's trying to get there into the final minute of the half. Ball's fired in. Harry Kane trying to win the header. Bruno does. And now Rashford can bring this forward. Osserman looking for Rashford again but no such luck and it looks like that's going to be half time as David De Gea will boot this one away it's been a tough game Tottenham are defending really well and that's the hard part obviously they've got five back there at times so I think we may have to go two up top here and, and just push them because if you look at the shot count one attempt to two. It's just been one of those matches. So yeah, let's readjust and we'll see you in the second half. So Eric Ten Hag has made a change. On comes Alejandro Granacho for Fred. And it looks like Rashford has gone up top. So Man United will be playing a 4-4-2 to try and stop Tottenham from pushing up and pressing so much. But still a lot of time to play in this game. Well, here is Rashford. Now, him running through the middle. He's going to have a lot of space himself. Marcus Rashford. He wanted to line up the shot, but he was getting a little bit manhandled by the defender, but he did enough to put him off. There's uh, Eric Dyer now. Running uh, Pedro Porto. You see Tottenham. They, you know, they play with width, and then you'll see Kulisevsky and Son both cutting inside when needed. What a ball that is. That is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely.
absolutely ridiculous. That pass just split the Red Sea, split everything. It's absolutely ridiculous. Too many absolutes, but look at this. Who played this pass? And then David De Gea, he just took a little bit too long to commit to that. If he did that when Kulisevsky took the touch, I mean, look at this. This is split. Casemiro, Kim, Martinez, every single player. And then David De Gea just took a little bit too long. Davis. Kim's got the wrong side of Sun. And then he does well. Just going to hoof that one clear. Oh, Dyer has lost possession. It's two on three here. Ganacho may do this himself. Well, he tried doing it himself. There really wasn't much else he could do because the defender didn't want to come towards him. Casemiro now. Bruno. Malasia goes to the floor, and that will be a free kick for United. Probably just a talking to in the old ear for Basuma. Yeah, good play from Malaysia. Took his time. And then milked it. Considering the position of this, we are going to have a go with Rashi. See the swerve and the whip on it. I'd love to see it, but i also love to see it hit the back of the net, which it hasn't. But yeah, there is uh, a lot of time in this game left, but Tottenham are really, really playing some good stuff, and they're ultimately counter-attacking United a lot. wan has missed it. Ball over the top, so good-looking pass to Sun. David De Gea does enough. Man, United now keep getting caught. Awesome it. Anthony. Oh, Anthony gets it back. Oh, he was looking for Osserman. You see, Tottenham are, are being very smart. They're not closing down too much. They're waiting for the right time. And then they're able to get in behind. And it's making it really difficult for us. Well, we're going to bring on Ilanga. I know it's different, isn't it? Anthony's tired at this stage. And Luke Shaw's going to come on as well. Uh, but Ilanga's got the full B mode going today. So... We need something, boys. I mean, there's still a lot of time left. These matches are long matches. They do go on and on and on. Trust me. Well done, Rashford. Rashford's starting to play better, though. And that's 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 the good news. Ref, we'll bring it back for the foul now. No, he won't. But yeah, I just I feel like Rashford's going to be a player that, that can excel if we can once we get him to a goal poacher or whatever he's going to be. We don't really need him as a winger. But we do need extra players up top. It's Kulisevsky against Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw's just come on. You'd think he'd have some fresh legs, but apparently not. His legs aren't warmed up yet. Kulisevsky. It's a lovely turn. That's a great challenge. By who else? Martinez. The pass from him was pretty poor. Poke through. Luke Shaw is uh, playing with himself. Harry Kane. Swung out wide. Porto. Oh, Luke Shaw, you got to do better than that. Kulisevsky now. Poke through. There's another chance. Oh, it was a risky one. The Suma. Well, Man United, they do have two players now that are constantly sitting up top. So they do have that luxury of hitting those long balls when needed. Bruno's done well there. And then he completely, completely misses the ball. That will be a yellow card. Even though we weren't meant to do that. Yeah, that was basically right here. Skip past the first challenge and then assaulted Sun. Yeah, Harry Kane has come off. Interesting choice there from Tottenham, but they've decided to mix things up. That's going to be all day for David De Gea. If we get this going early, we may have a chance here. Minglet. Ganacho. Summon, Osserman. Say Osserman. Always say the wrong name. For a while, we'll have fixed it. Well done, Casemiro. Luke Shaw. Osserman. Oh, what a pass that is! Ganacho! Why, why, why? Just shoot the ball. It was a terrible, terrible idea. 
to do that there with Ganacho. Uh, for some reason, I thought Fora Forster was going to come out. And he decided against it. Oh, we've got a bit of a problem here. A bit of a foot race with Kulosevsky and uh, David De Gea. And Kulosevsky's done exceptionally well. And then David De Gea comes out and pokes it clear. Back to Basuma. Now Luke Shaw will get there. Looking for Osserman. I keep thinking it's uh, Ganacho, but it isn't. Kulosevsky now. Oh, he's missed the challenge completely. And it's over the bar. Oh, dear, oh, dear. One of those matches, folks, isn't it? I mean, Tottenham have played well. They've played better than Man City, to be honest. And there's a reason why they're second. And then Man City are near relegation. So final few changes. We're going for it. Hannibal's coming on. It's a rarity, but it's happening. And then Dallo is coming on as well for wan As uh, Emerson Royale comes on for Porto. We've still got 13 minutes. That chance for Ganacho was the chance, wasn't it? We just completely missed it. I'll tell you what, what a pass that is. Absolutely ridiculous. Dallo. He's done exceptionally well. Ganacho. Oh, he tried to... Unbelievable. Another chance. How good's the ball in? How oh, we got to start whipping in early crosses? Someone mentioned that, and you're right. We're not, we're not whipping them in early enough. Another chance. Another deflection. Osman tries to win it. Bruno flicks it across. Malanga. Ah, couldn't find the pass. Now Tottenham do have a chance here. Then Juma towards Hoiberg. Fortunately, Dallow is fully fit. Fed up the line. Nice little reverse pass. Sanchez. Dallow win it. Offside ref. Apparently not. And that's going to be a corner. This is a chance, but it's a question of what Manchester United do here. Do they go for a Ten Hag special? Yes, we play the short one. We flick it. We pass it. We do a, a training drill. But it definitely was a foul by Sanchez. It's a hard one. It's almost like I just want to whip this one into Kim around here. Let's see if he can do anything. Go on, Kim. Up you get, son. Didn't quite get there. Ganacho, terrible touch from him. Yeah, that didn't work out at all. Complete waste of time. Martinez, go on. Go on. Ref, you're not playing a foul for that. Ref said play on. Hannibal. Lovely play. Hannibal. Oh, Hannibal the cannibal. He's nearly in. I'll take a point at this point in time. We only have two minutes of stoppage time left. So frustrating. I mean, if you said to me before the episode, would you rather beat Man City or Tottenham? I mean, probably Tottenham just because they're ahead of us. This is going to put us way, way, way further behind. Don't let him score. Don't let him score. And that's thrown the whole match away. Oh, dear. Kulisevsky has been a hole in the pole. I can't believe this. Yeah, we threw it away. We had to We had to push players forward. Martinez is pushing too far. He take a terrible touch there, and it's, it's a good finish, but... Oh, well, folks. Absolute disappointment, to be honest. Real disappointment. I mean, uh, Osserman has not really played very well. The whole team today hasn't played well. I haven't played well. The game plan kind of went out the window early on here in this match, and... I don't know. Should have kept the composure that we had. We didn't. And now we've just completely thrown this match away. So annoying. But it is what it is. It's football. Osserman. He's actually done very well himself. Deliver that in. Big deflection. Oh, Forster. I thought he'd left it and had gone in. But it looks like it's going to finish. Manchester United nil. Tottenham Hotspur 2, Kulosevsky, man of the match, too good, too clinical. And I think we've learned our lesson, don't play a 4-4-2. Seriously, once we went 4-4-2, which I thought might work, playing with, against Tottenham with 5 at the back, but it didn't. I honestly thought we played better with the 4-5-1, and we didn't really create. Just one of those matches, folks. Four attempts to nine, man of the match was Kulosevsky, and the rest of the team for us, pants. So the other results, let's see if anything went in our favour. Man City, what are you on? 
seriously, 4-0 against Everton now. They uh, Fulham beat Wolves. Liverpool did draw, which is good, I guess. Uh, Newcastle beating Sheffield United. Luton lost again. Chelsea smashed West Ham. Aston Villa beat Crystal Palace. Burnley beat Brighton. And Arsenal win as well. <sighs> it's not what we want. We go down to 11th place now. Tottenham are now top of the table. They're having a season and a half. And yeah, we are now 11 points behind Chelsea. We've got to find a bit of... We, we, did, we did start winning some games. That Tottenham game completely messed us up. I'm annoyed at myself. I shouldn't have changed it. I should have left it at 4-5-1 and just played that way or a 4-3-3. But anyway, you live and learn. Luton, Sheffield United, Bournemouth, the same bottom three. And... Uh, there we have it. So, folks, we will return for the next episode. We're probably going to skip the Besiktas game, to be honest. And then we'll just basically take on Burnley and Arsenal in the next episode. So another big, big match coming up. Kim Min Jae said we clearly fired our opponents up and we couldn't deal with them. No, we couldn't. We embarrassed ourselves too many times. But we did beat Man City. We did have some goals. Rashford started to score, which is good news. And... Uh, yeah, we'll keep plodding along. But until next time, subscribe for more. It's always going to be a tough first season. That's where we are. But I hope you guys are enjoying the grind. And we'll return very shortly. But until next time, take care.